Whales These majestic sea creatures are probably the most significant warriors in our battle against climate change. They are huge storage units of climate heat and carbon dioxide. Whales accumulate carbon in their bodies during their long lives. When they die, they sink to the bottom of the ocean, locking that carbon away for hundreds of years. A literal carbon sink. Each great whale sequesters 33 tons of CO2 on average. That is equivalent to planting more than a thousand trees. Interestingly, whale poop is also crucial to the functioning of the ocean and eventually survival of humans. Whales dive deep into the ocean to feed and swim back up to the surface to breathe and excrete waste full of nutrients. The excreta generated by the 100-150 ton whale is food for the microscopic marine algae phytoplankton. Phytoplankton also capture large amounts of CO2 and produce more than half of the world's oxygen. Phytoplankton are consumed by zooplankton and krill, which in turn fuel larger fish, sharks and marine mammals. So ultimately, an abundance of whale poop means an abundance of phytoplankton and diverse marine life. The whole ocean thrives. Sadly, six of the 13 great whale species are endangered or vulnerable. The dangers include entanglement in fishing gear, which kills three lakh cetaceans a year plastic pollution that whales confuse for food, collisions with ships, etc. So, how do we save these sentinel species of the sea? WWF UK has created the first ever global map of the whale migration patterns. It exposes growing dangers to the species and their superhighways. Scientists combined satellite tracking data from 845 whales collected over 30 years and mapped it alongside various growing dangers whales face. The map shows the bottleneck areas that need to be addressed urgently. According to Dr. Simon Wormsley, Chief Marine Advisor at WWF UK, the mapping exercise shows that whales are threatened along the whole length of their migration, along the whole blue corridor. That means it's no use protecting whales in one place where they congregate. They need to be protected the full length of the migration route. In this regard, WWF UK is eyeing the upcoming UN High Seas Treaty. The treaty is expected to include a network of marine protected areas which are universally recognized. Whales and climate change are inseparable. But sadly, the world has only 350 North Atlantic right whales left. <laughs>